Hey guys. Hello. <laughs> we're somewhat back. We're home. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a home sit down yeah. vlog because we got some news to share. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you that are not following us on Twitter and Instagram. Shame on you. <laughs> We had our baby boy. Yeah. <laughs> He's currently in a, in a bouncer. Mm -hmm. Somewhat sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. So this vlog is going to be mainly about our birth story. Because mm -hmm. um, it was quite a whirlwind. It came upon us real quick. Yeah. So to backtrack. Um, July 3rd, I had a um, appointment, a follow-up appointment with uh, my OB and just like a regular follow-up and she did like, it's called a stretch and sweep and she told me I was four centimeters dilated and she was surprised that I wasn't feeling any contractions because I wasn't. <laughs> mm -hmm. I felt nothing. Mm -hmm. And then she kept telling us that she was like, I wouldn't be surprised if you go into labor tonight or tomorrow. Um, but if you don't come to the hospital on Sunday and I'll examine you again. So we did that. Yeah. We went into like full, like emergency, like readiness mode on yeah. that day. Every, the car was packed. Everything was thrown around. We were ready yeah. to go that day just in case it, it popped up right away. Yeah. And it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> so we did go back to the hospital on Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, the following Sunday, and she checked me again and I was dilated to a five. Mm -hmm. So I dilated a centimeter in that short amount of time. And she kept saying, <laughs> again, you might go into labor tonight. Mm -hmm. She's like, hopefully we'll see you later today. No. <laughs> nope. Um, so I had another appointment with my OB um, on A Tuesday, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. two, two days later, mm -hmm. and they did another stretch and sweep. Mm -hmm. At this appointment, I was dilated to a six. Still no contractions, mm -hmm. like nothing. Mm -hmm. um, so my doctor said, if you're having contractions 10 minutes apart, go to the hospital. Yeah, because they think it's going to be real quick at that point. Yeah, because she said like my bag of waters was bulging mm -hmm. at that point. Mm -hmm. um, she said that she was afraid to... Sorry, we just... He made a little noise. <laughs> <laughs> That's where our attention goes now. So. Um, she said that she was afraid that she was going to pop it mm -hmm. um, during the exam. So, yeah. Then... Wednesday happens. <laughs> well, well, Wednesday. That, that night. Yeah, Wednesday night. No, Tuesday night. Was it Tuesday night? Tuesday night. Oh, right. Yes. So Tuesday it was night. Tuesday night. Wednesday morning in like it yeah. was 11 30 at night on Tuesday. Yeah. So, like that day, yeah. um, since I had my appointment that morning, that night at 11 30, I woke up in excruciating pain. Like, my contractions were starting. I woke up very disturbed that I was not getting my, my precious amount of sleep. <laughs> oh. yeah, I, know, I know. It was a very trying experience for me. <laughs> so I started timing them, and I have a picture of what they, like, like, they were lasting for a minute. They are mainly lasting for a minute, and they were about two to three minutes apart. So we skipped over that whole 10 minutes. Samantha skipped yeah. over the whole 10 minutes thing. Yeah. And went straight to the, you know, five one one where if they're five minutes apart, yeah. for lasting for a minute. For one hour. You're supposed to go to the hospital then. Yeah. <laughs> we skipped over that part. <laughs> oh yeah, we went from zero to 60 and like that. <laughs> yeah. So at midnight. Yeah, so at midnight, um, my parents were over. Uh, so they were staying over, woke my mom up, and we were like, hey, we're going to the hospital, yep. <laughs> like, right now. Yep. So we went to the hospital, 12, got there at, like, midnight, mm -hmm. 
and they admitted me to triage and was monitoring the baby. They did blood work mm -hmm. and um, I wasn't even there for that long. No. I think I was there for, like in triage for like 10 minutes, mm -hmm. 10, 15, like 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably closer to 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Yeah. So like it wasn't, it, to me it didn't feel that long. No, it was, <laughs> it, we were just making sure everything was okay and yeah. where that where we were. Yeah. And we were, we were there. Yeah. <laughs> And my water still has not broken, at but I was point. at that point. <laughs> so they admitted me and I wanted a natural birth. Like mm. I, my original birth plan was to have an unmedicated birth. That changed. Mm -hmm. Like when we got to the triage unit. Mm -hmm. I I think I said to you I I want an epidural like right now because <laughs> essentially I think with the instead of taking all the labor over an extended period of time yeah Samantha was getting all of the labor in a short amount of time yeah so, it was it was fast yeah so I was able like I asked the triage nurse like hey can I be on the list for an epidural like mm -hmm. I need it mm -hmm. like now mm -hmm. so. Um, I got the epidural right away, mm -hmm. uh, surprisingly. <laughs> yeah. Right after the epidural, that's when I started pushing. Mm -hmm. So they checked me and they said I was at a 7-8 mm -hmm. at that point. Um, so I, I dilated pretty quick. And mm -hmm. um, epidural felt great. <laughs> like, I didn't even know I was having contractions. Yeah, and the process of getting an epidural... Yeah. Which you were concerned about yeah. prior to. You didn't feel anything. No. Yeah. I felt nothing. Like, mm -hmm. I would do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you just felt the, the relief. Oh, yeah. Because it doesn't get rid of the pain. It gets rid of the pain, but it doesn't get rid of the pressure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I still felt the pressure. Mm -hmm. I didn't get any of the pain. Mm -hmm. So I was still able to, like, I was still able to push. Mm -hmm. um, at that point, I was pushing for two hours. So yeah, we got yeah we started pushing and we were pushing for about two hours. Yeah, and nothing was happening. Yeah, he got stuck, <laughs> mm -hmm. so he was not moving down at all, and he wasn't in a position that they wanted him in at that point. Mm -hmm. And because I was pushing for so long, um, I was in a lot of pain mm -hmm. at that point. Uh, apparently, my epidural got disconnected. Yeah, I don't know. So we we still don't know why it was disconnected or what happened or what happened. Yeah. Um, we're still pretty pretty pissed <laughs> about that, mm -hmm. especially me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So when that happened, I was getting a ton of back labor, mm -hmm. and my contractions were kind of overlapping each other mm -hmm. to the point where I had no break mm -hmm. from. A contraction yeah like no break at all mm -hmm. and I felt bad because I'm grabbing his hand and I'm bending it backwards and I, I think I almost broke your wrist <laughs> there were a couple of times you almost you, the, 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 a couple of times yes <laughs> a couple of times that I was fearful for my hands <laughs> and so then they gave me the option of doing like the oxytocin to speed up the contractions. Well, to add to the strength of the contraction. Yeah, to add to the strength. Yeah. Um, and so I opted in that. Mm -hmm. That made it worse. Mm -hmm. um, the contractions were just way too strong for me. Mm -hmm. And then we had to like the doctors basically said we need to get him out yeah they recommended helping him along yeah so the option that they gave me was forceps mm -hmm. so we did the forceps and he was out in like a couple minutes <laughs> it, that again like, was real quick <laughs> yeah he was out very quickly they, they basically just got him around where he was stuck and yeah they got like they used the forceps for a little bit, and then they said that I I did the rest, mm -hmm. um, which I like. I'm assuming that's what forceps do. Mm -hmm. um, 
I did tear a little bit, um, but not too bad, surprisingly, for a four, for four subs. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, he came out and he was eight pounds, three ounces. Yep. Big baby. <laughs> yep. Good, healthy baby. Yes. <laughs> Very healthy baby. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was, it was very quick. Yeah, so the birth time. It was 7.15 a.m. Mm -hmm. So from 11.30 at night, experiencing the first contraction. Yeah. Till 7.15 that mor the next morning. Yeah. Was the entire labor. Yeah. So it was a very quick labor for me. Mm -hmm. And people were telling me, oh, you're a first time mom. You're going to be in labor for hours. It could be 24, 32 hours. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, like I'm prepared for it. Like I'm prepared to like, okay, I'm gonna sell my birth ball and mm -hmm. like count my contractions. I'm gonna labor at home as much as I can. No, <laughs> I think I labored at home for like 15 minutes because we were like, I gotta go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that was basically the time for me to throw everything in the car. <laughs> yeah, it was like, oh, oh my God, okay. <laughs> grab this, grab that. Yeah. Like, thank God we had a list. Mm -hmm. We had a list of items to grab on the go. Mm -hmm. um, I made a list and then I wrote down where, where those were. items were in the house. Yeah, just in case somebody else needed to help us. Yeah. Which they didn't, but... They were asleep. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Mom and Dad, I love you. Yeah, yeah great job. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> but now, like, we were able to find all of our items, throw them in the car, and go. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it... I still can't believe how quick it happened. Mm -hmm. um, I am six days postpartum right now when we're filming this. Um, when you guys are watching this, it might be a week, it might be two weeks. I'm not sure when this video will go up. But <laughs> yeah, everything's going well. Baby's Baby. healthy. Yeah, he's doing very well. He's feeding. Feeding he's very well. Sleeping. Pooping. Pooping, peeing. All that a baby does. <laughs> Sometimes at the same time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That was an experience. <laughs> yeah. He's multitasking. Yes. <laughs> but, yeah, everything's getting pretty well. We're getting adjusted. Mm -hmm. um, it, not going to lie, it was hard in the beginning. Mm -hmm. it's, it's getting better each day. Yeah. Um, did, have, did have the baby blues. Um... But yeah, nothing too major. Yeah. Um, yeah, we had one doctor's appointment already with him. We have another one coming up soon, like a follow-up. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have to do a, like a hearing test. They did a hearing test in the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, one ear passed. Mm -hmm. The other ear, they said he almost passed yeah they kept trying because he was so close yeah and they couldn't uh they couldn't put him over they, yeah they couldn't fudge the results so yeah they were trying different positions to try and get him to the pass but it didn't work yeah so we were not worried about it because he no. was so close so yeah but yeah because he was so close to passing mm -hmm. um it could have just been like the amniotic fluid yeah. in his ear or Maybe something fluid, yeah. um so yeah, we have that coming up. We have a lot of stuff coming up with him. A lot of great memories that we're gonna record. Yeah, bring you guys so along. So we'll bring you guys along. <laughs> and uh, I don't even think we've said his name yet. No. So we had a list. We had a very long list of names. Very long list. It's basically <laughs> the World Wide Web of, of baby names. Basically like a book, <laughs> like you find at a library of baby names. Yeah. But uh, we narrowed it down to three names. It was Carter James, Bryce Robert, and Logan James. Mm -hmm. The name that we went for for baby boy is Bryce Robert. Mm -hmm. Bryce, because I like the name, he likes the name. Yeah, he looks like a Bryce. He does. <laughs> Not after the baseball player. <laughs> <laughs> we keep having to say that to people. It's yeah. Like, we don't like him, but we like his name. <laughs> we like his name. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, we like Bryce. And Robert is after my grandfather. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
Yeah. So maybe we'll show you. We'll show you guys. Little Bryce mm -hmm. He's asleep right now. Should be awake. He's got to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so there he is. He's all comfy in his little bouncer. So yeah, that's little Bryce. That's our little angel over there. Mm -hmm. He's been a good baby. Like, I'm like, I'm surprised <laughs> at how good he is. Yeah. He's got us for parents, so. <laughs> we thought he would, thought be, a little, he would be a little, a little bit, crazier. Yeah. <laughs> but he's got tons of time. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's gonna show. Yeah. It's gonna show. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so he's been a very good baby, feeding very well, mm -hmm. meeting his diaper quota. <laughs> we have to keep a log. Um, not Well, we had to keep one in the hospital, um, but it was just our preference to continue that log at home. Mm -hmm. Just so that way I know I'm not feeding off the same side. Mm -hmm every night <laughs> <laughs> every time or every, every time. time yeah and it's like oh wow yeah. one one side is bigger than the other <laughs> kind of thing um but yeah yeah he's our little angel yeah. smith is doing a great job mm -hmm. you know getting accustomed to having a uh, <laughs> a little human that is you know very needy yeah requesting her assistance yes you know that he needs her yeah. yeah and and it happens to be whenever i'm eating so <laughs> he has timed it very well yeah he eating does. or sleeping so that the if you have to pick anything up he just right there you go yeah <laughs> thanks sweetheart <laughs> <laughs> if you see this video in the future we love you great job but yeah <laughs> you made me not eat <laughs> uh Everything's going good. Yeah, we're doing good. Mm -hmm. We're adjusting. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. No. Parenthood don't, don't, is don't, not easy. Don't do it on a whim. <laughs> no. Do yeah. it when you're ready. Yeah. Like, it takes a lot out of you. <laughs> but it's all worth it. It like, is. Like, I, I would do the labor and delivery a thousand times over for him. Maybe. <laughs> 500, maybe. Maybe 500. I, I might lose my hand in like the, the <laughs> 950th one, so I'm gonna <laughs> take my chances. Just the, I'm just joking, Bryce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I would definitely do it all over again for him. Mm -hmm. Like, he's... He's unbelievable. He's a precious little baby boy. Mm -hmm. He's our little miracle. <laughs> <laughs> So, we hope you guys stick around for more ad cute, adorable vlogs. <laughs> They're definitely going to change the, the focus of the vlog from us to... To just Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> we, that should be the new channel name. Not Samantha and Andrew. It's just Bryce. Yeah. <laughs> comma, comma, comma. Yeah. And, and Samantha and Andrew. <laughs> we'll introduce him. Yes. And close the, the videos for him, but he will be the star. Yes, he will. I don't know. We're still trying to get into a routine with Bryce mm -hmm. and for ourselves too. Yep. Um, so I don't know how video uploads are going to go mm -hmm. um, just because he does need a lot of my time and attention yep. and I'm really the only one that does the uh, editing for the videos. And yeah, don't trust me with the editing. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Everyone saw that. <laughs> but, yeah, so he does need, he needs his mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we apologize for not uploading videos t on time, on a specific Monday, Wednesday schedule. Mm -hmm. Um, some days it might be like a Tuesday or like a Thursday or still Monday, Wednesday. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. Um, we'll establish that schedule. And we'll, guide, we'll keep you guys posted. Yeah. As it makes sense for us. I mean, yeah. The first couple months, maybe, you know, less frequent. Yeah. So um, we, we appreciate you guys watching all of our videos mm -hmm. and we'll keep you posted as, you know, the schedule changes. But 
Yeah. yeah you know, there is a, a more important uh, thing that we have to take care of and nurture and allow them to grow. Yeah. I was going to film a what's in my hospital bag video. The day. But then, <laughs> yeah, that, then that, that Wednesday. That Wednesday. But <laughs> Bryce decided to show up. Yeah. <laughs> he decided he wanted to make an appearance. <laughs> um, but yeah. So we really appreciate it. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram because we will be posting more on there. It's definitely easier. It's easier to post on there than it is to edit and post on here. Yeah. Um, so we've already been posting, vid uh, not videos, mm -hmm. but we've been posting pictures and updates mm -hmm. on Bryce and how we're doing um, just in our daily lives. Yep. So. We hope you guys stick around for more for more future vlogs um, of our new family of three. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. When you do, hit the bell icon and turn on all your notifications, and that will notify you every time we upload a video, whatever that may be. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to get all the our, all of our videos when they actually come out. Yes. So. <laughs> and. Yeah, as you said, follow us on Twitter and Instagram so you can keep up to date on all of Bryce. Yes. <laughs> and not just Smith and Andrew anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. with that. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.